Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. And today I will be reading a multi-character accessor by me. So let's get into it. Muichiro. It would hurt him beyond belief to see the one person that he had forget him in every capacity. As soon as he was told the news, he couldn't truly really believe it for the first few hours. You? His beloved Lyan, forget him? It had to be a lie, or maybe they didn't know enough. Maybe they just didn't know you like he did. Surely as soon as you would see him, he would know. But as soon as he entered your room, you frowned. Who are you? Why are you coming into my room like that? Get out. Or I'll tell the nurse. You told him. And it was hurt. Beyond belief. Fighting with a demon would probably hurt a lot less, no matter how powerful they are. But to see his love forget him like this, it was worse than any pain you could ever imagine. Mayan, you don't remember me? How do you know my name? You ask, and suspicion crosses through your eyes, and he sees it very clearly. Mayan. I'm your lover. You have to remember me. He tells you. And he gets out the picture. And a ring. Look at us. We were married, Wyan. He tells you. And you look at the picture. And there he is. Smiling. With an arm around your waist. As you grin beside him. In a white dress. How? You had no memory of this. You didn't know how this one could be the one you chose in the end. But you could partially see it as well. He was beautiful. And he looked like he was kind too. He didn't know much. But perhaps he was lying to you. You had been told you had lost your memory. But you're suspicious of everyone now. Because so many people could use advantage of that situation and try to force things on you. But this, it seemed to be true. And as soon as you grabbed the ring from him, and put it on your finger to test it out, it felt familiar, like it belonged there. What's your name? Muichiro. Well, we can start again. If you want to, Muichiro. I'm sorry. Perhaps you're saying the truth. I mean, it seems like you are. And I want to believe you. So, you can tell me what you want. And I will hear it. Tell me about us. About you. And what we did. I want to remember everything, but I can't. I'm trying to, Mitra. You tell him. And he can see the clear desperation in your eyes. No, you see so badly want to know the truth and everything that you had missed out on. And he holds your hand, squeezing it in his. And for a moment he'd given up hope and thought that your love had ended altogether then. But perhaps he could take on this challenge and try, try to make you fall in love with him again. Tangan. Tengen had no idea how this happened, and no matter how much he asked, and what they told him, he couldn't wrap his head around it. Yes, it seemed logical. He knows about amnesia, and people had lost their memory. He knows about worse stuff in the world, but somehow, this thing had just come for him and ruined his life, and all that he had was you. So it was a challenge to enter your room. And look at you, staring at him like he was a stranger. And who might you be? You ask him with a gentle smile, feeling weirded out at the interaction that you're having. A stranger in your own hospital room. That was surely something to write about. But he just seemed hurt and pained. If anything, you didn't know how your words could hurt him. But that you had amnesia. 
and the dead lost a lot of memories. And that was something that hurts you a little bit, but not too much. You can't miss what you've never had, and you don't know what it is, but it is that you had and now lost, and you would never know. But looking at the ring on your finger, the one you'd had to put on, after seeing it on the table next to you, after it come out of surgery, it looked familiar. And perhaps you are married, but you don't remember who it is. That hurts you, perhaps, more than anything else. You wanted to know who it was, and who it is that you decided to forget in this miserable accident you've had. Perhaps it could be him. He was your type, and you could feel that from the very first second. And as you sat down, you gave him a smile, jokingly saying, are you perhaps my forgotten husband by any chance? He looks up at you for that, nodding, and suddenly the awkward joke becomes a lot more awkward than before, because here you were, joking with a husband that you had forgotten, and the atmosphere grew ten times heavier. So, you really are then. I'm sorry, I was just joking. I mean, no longer now. You really are my husband, then. Well, I am Moyan, and you are... Tengan, he tells you. And you smile at knowing his name, asking to see the ring that he had. It's the exact same one as your own. And you put your fingers next to each other, looking at it. Well, you're not lying then, but I, I want to take things slow. I want to feel like I'm not forced into this. Would you give me my time, Tengen? He nods, looking at you with utter love and adoration in his eyes. He looks like he has so much to say, too much, but he knows you just can't take it yet. So he only gives you a nod. Thank you, Ion, for giving me a chance again. Well, I'm sure you deserve one. I wouldn't marry just anyone like that. He is saying with a soft giggle. And that lightens up the mood. And Tengen, he leans forward, pressing a soft kiss to your palm. I'm more than ready, Ion, to start right from the beginning. And he was right. He was more than willing to take up the challenge that you gave him.